Here with Hawks head coach Seth Tierney following a loss to number 18 North Carolina. Coach, opening thoughts on today's game. Yeah, today uh, obviously it didn't play out the way we had hoped. Um, credit to Carolina. Uh, they came up here. Uh, they were focused. Um, and they uh, their game plan worked a little better than ours. Um, credit to them, uh, their staff, and, and their players. Uh, they jumped on us early and put us in a spot where, you know, you, you're, playing, <coughs> you're playing defense all over the field um, and you can never really play offense. And, uh, and they got us, you know, certainly the halftime score was, was tilted to a certain way and, and then you got to decide what you want to do. Um, so today was not our day. Uh, you know, we, we scheduled these games for a reason, uh, certainly a shot at winning, uh, and that just didn't happen today. Uh, and now, uh, you know, I made a promise to the guys, and when we got into the locker room, win, lose, or draw, there was going to be a scouting report for Fairfield in their locker, and that's what it was, because now we are uh, we are in the conference season. Um, this, this press conference would have been the same thing if we if the if the score was different. You know we're on to Fairfield. It's a it's one of those that you just got to move on. We got to cut it loose, and um, and we got to have positive vibes going forward. Sometimes it's not your day, and today um, it wasn't our day. But they 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 made it not our day. I, I want to make sure University of North Carolina gets the credit. Coach, what can you take away from today's game into next week's conference opener against Fairfield? Yeah, I mean, listen, the last two weeks we played two quality opponents, really quality opponents in Rutgers and North Carolina. And we did that, you know, for a reason. Um, you know, uh, I, I don't think you can compare scores around the country, but we wanted to make sure that we we did everything for our team to be prepared for Monday. Monday, this next season starts. So did we have overnight trips? Yes. Did we have day trips? Like Fairfield's going to be a day trip. Get on a bus, hour and a half, get off, play. In a, you know, listen, Fairfield's a playoff game. It's just the way it is, right? The last two years, they have, um, they've gotten the best of us. We've gotten the best of them a couple years prior, um, but we've been, you know, tied for the tour, five tied for the CA tournament the last two years, and we were the team that lost the tiebreaker. Um, this was one of those games that did that. So I'm hopeful that we'll have a very focused weekend and focused week as we head into that. Um, we got a couple of guys, some reps at the faceoff X. You got a chance to see Max May uh, a little bit today. A couple of guys played towards the end, um, and that was maybe a little bit more injury prevention. Let's not lose someone when the game, you know, was officially in hand by them. They started to sub out, and at that point in time, I just we wanted to get some of our guys off the field. Um, but you know, the lesson that we can learn is. You know, we, we got to bring it. We got to be better. Uh, not only do you have to follow the game plan, but you got to play with a certain, uh, a, a certain energy. With the with the start of conference play coming, coach, yeah. what what are you feeling is your strongest suit going into conference play? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'd like, I'd like to I'd like to tell you coming off a loss could be a positive here, right? Because now we're we're focused. We're I'm a hair angry. Uh, and, and that's part of it, right? Sometimes uh, you need to have that piece to it. Uh, I do think that we have experienced wins. We've experienced some losses. Uh, we've experienced, you know, a, certainly, a, you know, a, a tough loss <coughs> to Navy, uh, a heartbreaker versus Marist. Uh, and then two, uh, you know, I, I don't, I, there's nothing that you call a quality loss, but we played against two really big opponents uh, you know, in the Big Ten and the ACC. And uh, so I do think that we're prepared for conference play as we go forward. Now we need to prepare for, for Fairfield, but I do think that the Hofstra team has seen everything. We've experienced everything. And, um, you know, whatever the record is, you could be undefeated. You're still 0-0 zero and zero going into this week. So how important has Sam been for you guys since he's come on into the starting lineup? It seems like he's getting better every time he touches the field for you guys. Yeah, what did he have today? He had one, he had two. Um, you know, Sam is, is a guy that has been, you know, injury riddled throughout his career. Um, again, we had spoken maybe a few weeks back, Sam hasn't played, you know, this is now, I think his third game, you know, and we put him in a, a little bit, maybe in the Marist game earlier. Um, but this is his third game now, 
Uh, other than that, he has not played since the the end of the Drexel game last year. So we're just you know just every time we can cash in a game, it's more time, it's more uh, experience for him, and uh, it's great to have him out there. Uh, Coach, you, you talked about giving Carolina a bunch of credit today. Yeah. Specifically, what was it uh, for them defensively that really caused a lot of problems for you guys? Yeah, you know, some of you guys were not around, um, but. Several years ago, we played Carolina three years in a row, and uh, you know this frown on my face was upside down at that time, and we were happy, right? Um, and as I mentioned in a previous question, what can we take from today? Anger, right? We can take focus. Um, they had that today. They were not, you know, they weren't going to be denied a chance to right the wrong of a few years ago when we, you know, we beat them three years in a row. And um, but those, those things are in the past. You know, in the present, we uh, we lost. We lost today. Uh, they beat us, and we lost. And that, when that combination happens, it's it's no good. Uh, sometimes you beat yourself. Sometimes you just get beat. But today, you know, we could have made some plays. I think, you know, Sam had a pretty good look early in the game uh, after his first goal inside, right? And it maybe got us to two. Colton had an inside look in the first quarter on an inside roll down the far end. And when you play against a top 20 team, if you don't cash in on those ones that you, you know, those layups that, that you get, you work hard for them, but if you don't cash in, uh, it could be a two goal swing. And that's what it was. So we, we missed a layup down one end and, uh, and they end up scoring a two pointer or a three pointer down the other end. Thanks coach. You got it, thank you guys. Thanks, coach.